Hello dear all aspirants, welcome back to SSB crack exams. I am back with it, another segment of lecture based on the topic time and work, one of the important topic your AFCAT 2020 exam point of view in the series of lectures top 200 most expected questions in numerical ability section. So before we continue with our problem solving, let me once again mention you that we have the best online courses ghar baithe baithe aap apne afk written examination ke liye prepare kar sakte hain strategic plans hamare courses mein describe kiye gaye jo aap follow karke kam se kam time mein bhi important topics ka revision karke good marks la sakte hain so iske liye aapko visit karna hoga hamara web page right aur बेस्ट होगा अगर आप कोर्स बाय कर लेते हो क्योंकि आपको एक्सेस मिलेगा बहुत सारे मॉक टेस्ट सीरीज को जिसको आपको सॉल्व करना होगा और बेस्ट आउटपुट आपको मिलेगा आपके डिफेंस रिटर्न एग्जामिनेशन में सो टू बाय अ कोर्स वी हैव कोड वॉरियर टेन फॉर यू टू एक्सेस टू गेट द एक्स्ट्रा टेन परसेंट ऑफ ऑन ऑल द कोर्सेज यू कैन Subscribe our YouTube channel SSB Crack Exams. Visit our Instagram page. वहाँ पे भी आपको बहुत सारी जानकारी मिलेगी आपके defence examination related. And the best page you can visit for your aspiration being a defence aspirant. Learn dot SSB Crack Exams dot com, which is India's most powerful defence exam portal to guide and make you crack your defense written examination you can download our app ssb crack exams from google play store there are certain few lectures study material quizzes for you awaiting you can attend them and please buy your required course of your choice with the discounted amount so let's now begin with the question from time and work sunil and pradeep can complete a work in 5 days and 15 days respectively. So Sunil jo hai, wo 5 days lega task complete karne aur Pradeep le raha hai 15 days. Task same hai dono ka. They both work for a day only and then Sunil leaves. So one day tak dono ne milke kaam kiya hai. Later on Sunil left the job then obvious that the rest of the work has to be completed by the person Pradeep. So in how many days will the remaining work be completed by Pradeep? One of the typical question expected in your AFCAT 2020 exam on time and work. So this remaining work ka concept is how you understand it. Look, the whole work that we consider is one. This is what you will know right तो आपको यहाँ पे करना ही होता है ऐसे sums में find out the work for the mention days अभी mention day है यहाँ पे one day के लिए दोनों together काम कर रहे right तो you have to calculate that work and subtract it from whole to get that remaining और वो remaining work को कौन complete कर रहा है उसका rate of work क्या है उसके उससे आपको मिलेगा ऐसे questions का answer आसानी से but ये answer को easily समझने के लिए आपको ये चीज पता होनी चाहिए कि if a person A takes N days to complete a work or to do a task. If I simply say, you should must know that what task he would complete in a day. So one day task could be how much? It would be one upon nth part of the work. So ye is repeatedly hum use karte work and time problems. Mein. Yaha pe bhi Sunil jo hai 5 days le raha hai. Matlab one day ka uska work ho jata hai 1 upon 5. As per this hint formula, this basic, right? And jo Pradeep hai, uske liye ho jayega 1 by 15. Now they were working together. Working together matlab A plus B work. Un dono ka add karna hoga. Toh yaha pe mein hence lekhoongi. One day work by Sunil ka S lete hai aur Pradeep ka P lete hai. Okay, short mein. So Sunil pra, plus Pradeep, one day work would be how much? 1 by 5 plus 1 by 15 jo aapko Dega 4 by 15th part of the work. Check. So, this work one day tak khatam hua hai. Is mein hum dekh sakte hai. Equal to one hi matlab complete work nahi hua hai. There is a remaining work. Jo aapko milega. Remaining work equals to 1 minus 
फोर अपॉन फिफ्टीन करके जो है इलेवन बाई फिफ्टीन पार्ट ऑफ द वर्क अभी ये वर्क किसे कंप्लीट करना है द पर्सन प्रदीप राइट तो प्रदीप का जो वन डे का वर्क रेट है वो क्या है वन अपॉन फिफ्टीन तो ये रेट से काम करेगा तो कितना दिन लेगा अकॉर्डिंगली हाउ टू कैलकुलेट सो इट जस्ट अ डिविजन सो यहाँ पे मैं आपको शॉर्टकट बता रही हूँ कि अगर आपको सेकेंड पर्सन के लिए रिमेनिंग वर्क का नंबर ऑफ डेज कैलकुलेट करना है तो सिंपली जो वर्क आपको मिला है रिमेनिंग वर्क उसको डिवाइड कीजिएगा रेट ऑफ वर्क फॉर द पर्सन सो मैं राइट सो रिक्वायर्ड डेज आपको आसानी से मिलेंगे सो रिक्वायर्ड डेज जो है प्रदीप के लिए कंप्लीट करने का रिमेनिंग वर्क सो 11 बाई फिफ्टीन डिवाइडेड बाई रेट ऑफ वर्क फॉर दैट पर्सन प्रदीप दैट इज 1 बाई फिफ्टीन तो ये होगा 11 बाई फिफ्टीन इंटू फिफ्टीन बाई वन जो आप देख सकते हो आंसर इसका आएगा 11 डेज राइट एंड हेंस इसका ऑप्शन है ए राइट लेट्स लुक इन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ Six men and eight boys can do a piece of work in ten days. Six men plus eight boys का combined work होने का time duration है ten days. While twenty six men and forty eight boys can do the same work in just two days. Obvious, men at work are increased. So the time taken by fifteen men and twenty boys in doing the same work will be. This is a typical question where there is a no shortcut rather than going with the basic process. What's a basic basic process here? See, every time you observe that in this question, they are given group of men and group of boys, right? The number being changed in three different scenario, and their respective days mentioned: ten days, two days, and unknown days that we have to calculate. So, ऐसे questions के लिए आपको सबसे पहले लिखना है कि अब ये जो groups दिए main group and boys group. तो वन मैन वन डे का वर्क कितना होता है वन बॉय वन डे का वर्क कितना होगा तो उस आप उसको एज्यूम कर लोगे ना देन इट वुड बी इजी फॉर यू टू फॉर्मुलेट इक्वेशन फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम्स। सो लेट अस एज्यूम दैट वन मैन वन मैन वन डे वर्क वन मैन वन डे वर्क इज इक्वल टू एक्स एंड वन बॉय वन डे वर्क हम एज्यूम कर लेंगे Why? तो यहां पे अभी दो इक्वेशन आसानी से मिलेंगे हमें सिक्स मेन तो सिक्स मेन मीन्स वन मैन मल्टीप्लाई होगा सिक्स एक्स so तो होगा सिक्स एक्स प्लस एट बॉयज दैट इज एट वाई और दोनों ले रहे वन डे का उनका जो काम हो रहा है वन बाय टेंथ पार्ट क्योंकि टेन डेज दे आर टेकिंग टूगेदर टू फिनिश द वर्क मतलब हम जब वन डे का इक्वेशन फॉर्मुलेशन कर रहे हैं ये इक्वेशन यहाँ पे हमें वन ओवर टेंथ लेना है वन डे का वर्क कितना होगा वन ओवर टेंथ पार्ट सिमिलरली वन ऑफ द नेक्स्ट इक्वेशन ट्वेंटी सिक्स मेन प्लस फोर्टी एट बॉयज इक्वल्स टू दे टेकिंग टू डेज मीन्स वन ओवर सेकेंड वन ओवर टू राइट वन डे वर्क सो इसको अगर आप सॉल्व कर लेते हो इक्वेशन वन एंड टू को then you will get the answers for x and y respectively x you will get around 1 by 100 and y you will get around 1 by 200 so ye aapko pata karna tha x and y kya tha one man one day work one man one day work x mila 1 over 100 part of the work one boy one day work mila y 1 over 200 part of the work now ye work aap consider karke easily 15 मेन एंड 20 बॉयज का वर्क कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं जो आपको मिलेगा 15 इंटू मैन वर्क दैट इज वन अपॉन हंड्रेड प्लस ट्वेंटी इंटू बॉयज वर्क दैट इज वन अपॉन टू हंड्रेड जो आपको फ्रैक्शन देगा 15 अपॉन हंड्रेड फर्स्ट फ्रैक्शन एंड 20 अपॉन टू हंड्रेड जिसका सिंप्लीफिकेशन इजिली आपको देगा वन ओवर फोर तो वन ओवर फोर जो है ये वर्क है राइट तो कितने डेज हाउ मेनी डेज आर रिक्वायर्ड देन फॉर द वर्क टू बी कंप्लीटेड डेज रिक्वायर्ड आर रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ द वर्क सो फोर डेज राइट एंड हेंस ये क्वेश्चन का आंसर हो जाता है ऑप्शन ए राइट लेट्स लुक इन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ट्वेल्व मेन कंप्लीट ए वर्क इन नाइन डेज ट्वेल्व मेन कंप्लीट ए वर्क इन नाइन डेज After they have worked for six days only, six more men join them. So six new men have joined once the the first group of persons who doing the work. They've done the work for six days. 
so how many days will they take to complete the remaining work again remaining work concepts are useful here so for this what you need to do is again being here mention 12 men do the work in 9 days right so it's obvious that in one day what part of the work 12 men would do one over nine but they have just worked for how many days six days right so here we can write easily 12 men ka six days ka work six days work right how we can write that one day work would be how much one over nine because 12 men taking nine days to finish a task so one over nine is a one day work for 12 men so six days ke liye fir kitna hoga? six times 1 over 9 जो कि आपको fraction देगा 2 by 3 तो ये जो work है 6 days तक complete हो रहा है but there is a remaining work for which the 6 more men have joined right so remaining work पता कर लेते हैं remaining work again recall remaining work कैसे find out करते हैं 1 minus the found work 1 minus 2 by 3 you will get the remaining work 1 by 3 now this 1 by 3 work has to be done by the extra persons joining six more main right so six more main join and they would complete this rest of the work so how many days will they take we have to find out so iske liye hume pehle yahan pe mention karna hai ki ye jo 18 persons hai total initial 12 main aur ye six main later jo join huye hai right दोनो मिलके वन डे में कितना काम कर रहे हैं? So, ये जो 18 मेन हो जाएंगे, 18 मेन्स वन डे वर्क हम लिखते हैं वन ओवर वन नॉट एट, राइट? इनटू 18, बिकॉज़ 12 मेन नाइन डेज वर्क मतलब वन मैन वन डे वर्क कितना होगा? वन अपॉन वन नॉट एट तो 18 मैन का होगा 18 into 1 upon 1 not 8, right? तो ये होगा 1 over 6, right? So 1 over 6 work is done by them in one day. So 1 by 3 work is done by them in how many days? It's just the multiplication, right? So 1 by 3 work, which is the remaining work we calculated, right? This work done in how many days this 6 into 1 over 3 because we have to as I told you this remaining work should be divided by this required work 1 over 6 so when you divide 1 by 3 by 1 by 6 you want to get 6 into 1 by 3 which resu results 2 days right and hence for this question answer hoga option A okay now next question A is have good a workman as B and together they finish a job in 14 days. Very important question again on time and work where efficiencies are given for two person. A is half good. A is half good means his efficiency is less compared to the person B and together when they are working they are completing the job in 14 days. So in how many days working alone will B finish the job? Easy. You know here their combined work days. So from that you just subtract the A's days to get the B's day. Right. So that you can easily do by starting with the unknown for B. So let's say that let B takes X days. Alright. So now as per the efficiency A is half good. He is half good means he would take double the days what B takes. So let, let B takes X days to do task if I write, write this statement would indirectly means me that A takes double the days because it is just half good. So this is how the efficiency works a lot and easy way to tackle with the problems on term and time and work, right? So A takes how many then? 2X days to do the same task right now their combined work days are mentioned 114 so 1 sorry 14 days 14 days to complete the work means in one day what's the work 1 over 14 so how do we write the one day work one day work we write as 1 by x for a person b and 1 by 2x for person a so their combined one day work is 1 over 14 because please focus here that they have given us the 14 days they are taking 
to finish the task together. So 1 over 14 they would do for a day. So this equation would give you the resultant equation and the value for x. So by cross multiplication you are going to get 3x upon 2x square equals to 1 by 14 which you can further simplify to get x is equals to 3 by 2 into 14 check and hence you get x is equals to 21 days right and what was x the days taken by the person b and that easily you got the answer that's option number b right next question a can do 3 by 4 part of the work in just 12 days so in how many days can he finish 1 by 8 part of the work very good question conceptual base a can do just 3 by 4th of the work in 12 days it's not a full work it's just a 3 4th of the work so from this 3 4th of the work you can talk about the complete work also easily right so first of all here you note that if a can do in 1 by 8 days the work which would be actually this 12 times the reciprocal of the work a was doing before right hum simple way se approach karte hai sum ko see what 3 by 4th part of the work in 12 days means whole work how many days it would take it's simple right we have to see you always remember that the whole work is equals to 1 agar hume one third of work ke bare mein information hai to full work jo ho raha hai 3 days mein Similarly, जब हमें 3 fourth work के बारे में जानकारी है, तो full work के लिए इसका reciprocal multiply होगा days को, right? So therefore, we write that whole work, whole work done in how many days? This 12 into reciprocal of this 3 by 4, that is 4 by 3, which would be, as you could see, 16 days. So 16 days में complete work हो रहा है तो अभी 1 8th part of the work होना है तो कितने दिन लेंगे just divide this days by part of the work right so the required work आप sorry required जो days है आपको easily मिलेंगे that is equals to 1 by 8th part of the 16 days that is 2 days is as simple as that so just we are using here the concept of this whole work which has to be 1 if it is getting completed means right so for this 12 days if 3 fourth of the work he has done means in 16 days full work would be done so 16 days complete work 1 by 8th work hona hai matlab ye 16 days mein se how many days would be required just the 2 days because this 16 days has to be multiplied with the 1 8th part of the work right so i hope you understood this solution and the option is d for this question so hence please follow us in YouTube, subscribe to our channel, access all our lectures and best give attempt to your AFCAT 2020 examination. Please go through our Instagram page and do not forget to visit our website learn.ssbcrackexams.com to have a clear cut analysis and insights of all the important defense courses of your choice to crack your SPIRE defense examination. So for this all, please stay tuned to SSB Crack Exams in our YouTube channel.